today, my name is Chef Adi Abo. Today I'm cooking something lovely, couscous, uh, turmeric, chicken. I got lemon juice. I'm going to use for the chicken, just to season that chicken nicely. I got Maggi, I'm gonna use a little bit of this Maggi. I'm gonna use a little bit of salt into it as well. A little bit of salt just to, that's the first, first thing you do. So marinate the chicken first, yeah? And I got my herbs. That's my normal herb seasoning. That that is for me. That's for my homemade herbs. And I got my chili powder as well. The Scott Bunny chili powder. That's my homemade. I got that. Yeah, just that to chicken. So this is the chicken. That's the first thing you do. Yeah, that's the first thing you do first. Then when you, once your chicken is seasoning. Then you are ready to put in the oven, okay? And then, then I'll, that's the step one. Step two, I'll be right back. Welcome back. So I'm going to put my couscous now. I'm gonna drop my couscous here. Another way you can do it, if you wanna, like do couscous in another way you can actually fry it um like you're doing the fried rice you can actually do that that way but i'm doing i'm doing it differently today i'm using all this couscous which about <coughs> so 500 grams of this couscous and uh, then I'm going to make sure <coughs> I'm going to make sure my stock for you so because this is 500 grams and that will be exactly one liter and I'm going to add it you can see the stock you can see how beautiful it is just add it to that couscous Get the wooden spoon. Get the wooden spoon. And get the spoon. Let me let me add all of it. it. Might be too much, but let me add all of it. Let's see. It's gonna come up. See. Then you just uh, you just clean the meat. Just clean the meat, the couscous. Just for just clean the couscous for about ten minutes. So, so. on this thing like this you know why the reason is I'm just um, I'm using my oven and this oven doesn't have you don't need to use oil for this oven what you need to do you just put the chicken there so you don't need to use oil um, just marinate the chicken put in there and no oil but if you want to use this oven as well you can as well use this one when you use this, then you make sure you put, if, if you don't want to put oil, you don't need to. Or if you want to put oil as well, you can put, you can put oil. Okay. And that's it on that one. That's step two. Step three is to boil your water. When you boil your water, make sure, I'm making it stop for this uh, no, uh, couscous. Just add the olive oil into it. Um, a bit of salt, just a small salt on that, and a uh, bit of maggi, maggi into it, yeah, and my turmeric, 
my turmeric powder. Just add my turmeric powder into it. Yep, let it start boiling. Load the heat. And the, that's step two. I leave the stock is on, it's getting the stock is on, it's boiling. So step three is to get the the pan. I'm gonna get my pan, I'm gonna get my pan from the oven. Then I get my pan from the oven. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this oil off. I don't need that. That's too. That's too much. Yeah. I don't need this oil. Now I'm going to put my vegetable. You can see my vegetable. Uh, let me put all of it. I mean, uh, all the vegetables into it. Wait. Okay. And have that. I have a bit of salt into it. A bit of salt. That's step step three. I think it's step. <laughs> I think I can't remember again. I think it's step three or step four. Anyway, start doing your vegetables. You know, you can if you want. You can add a little bit of chili. You can add a little bit of chili pepper into it. We will really love chili pepper. Just add that one to it and uh, add a bit of seasoning as well into that. Then okay, that's it. And I'm going to. Add my sausage to have my sausage. Sit, slice this sausage in there. Yeah. I'm gonna put my sausage in today. Add more sausage. At least it depends on how many uh, chicken sausage you want. And this chicken sausage can be eaten by anybody. Either you have uh, not only the only person that cannot have it is the vegetarian people. But if you are Meet people or Allah, the Muslim, the Christian, you can have these sausage, sausages, which is very nice and tender. And uh, when you're going to do is, have a little bit of, I'm going to have a little bit of, I'm going to have a more oil into it, because I haven't had the oil before. I have the oil. It's that to see so we are shaking. See the way I shake it. Hop, 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 hop. Shake it nice. And then I'm gonna chop my chestnut mushrooms. I'm gonna chop my chestnut mushrooms. Hold on one minute. So I'm gonna have the, some of the chestnut mushroom into it as well. It's gonna be lovely. There we go. I'll wash it a little bit. That's what chestnut mushrooms. I'm gonna fry it in there. Now my chestnut mushrooms is washed, add into it. 
Sabe o que eu diria? So that's, uh, I think it's step three or step four. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't. And it can't, but the steps must turn off. And um, I'll check my chicken if it's ready. But so I think, as you can see, the chicken is not ready. But it's getting a bit, it's going to be ready soon. I turn it. Yeah. Turn it. Yeah, I put it back in the oven. But this oven goes way back to 245 degrees. And I'm using 225 degree. Uh, 225 degree, that's what I'm using for this oven. But if you want to use this oven, uh, your oven might go to 250. If you want to use your oven, you can use it on 250. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. I just open the clean film on this couscous, check if it's okay. Yeah, nicely, lovely. So what I want to do on this couscous, because it's really nice, I want to mix it to this. Mix it to this, that's the vegetables. You can see that, it's lovely. Lovely. This is nice. Mix to the mix all of it. There we go. I turn up the heat. There's no more heat in it. I turn up the heat because couscous is cooked. So I'm only just taking the just to make sure. Couscous is lovely. And what you could do if you if it's if it's you, but for me it's okay like this for me. But for yourself, if you wanna cook it a little bit more, we just turn it turn the heat on again. Then we'll cook it a little bit more. See how you cook. Oh, it's a lot. Ah, that's a lot. I mean, this can feed about, see, it can feed about 10 people. Uh -huh. It depends on how you can hear. If you can hear a lot, then you, it's not gonna, if people hear a lot, that means it's gonna have to feed about five people. Uh, depends, but it's quite a lot anyway. As you can see, mix it, lovely. This is cooked and it's lovely. The, everything is beautiful. You see the color, this color just looks like let me turn the heat down a bit. Let me just taste it. And let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It's quite nice, but but I think I'm gonna need more soap. A little bit more turmeric, a little bit more turmeric into it. Yeah. A little bit salt, just a little bit salt more. Uh, okay, let me mix it again. Let me see how it goes. I want to see the turmeric. Let's see the face. This looks so nice. So lovely face. Come on, Ari. Don't mess, mess it up because you're going to have to clean that. See, I'm going to spoon. Let me wash it. Is it good? It's missing something. It's missing something. Yeah. I think what I'm gonna do is so. Uh, it's missing something for me. 
think I need a bit of sharp. Can I squeeze some lemon juice into it? Squeeze some lemon juice. Yeah. I think it's missing something like that. Strong something. Yeah. Just lemon juice into it. Yeah. I think that's better. And one more thing that I'm missing as well, which I believe is missing, will give more flavor into that. Is my. I just grab some butter. Just Thirty gram of butter. It's lovely. You put it eat on again. Mix it together. Slowly, slowly. Mix it together slowly. Yeah. For me, I'm just putting the butter into it, but if you don't want to put butter, you don't need to put butter, you don't need to put lemon juice. But for a nice flavor, which I want to achieve, I just want to achieve some kind of a, a, a nice flavor of this. That's why I'm adding a lemon juice and the butter into it, because Butter is very good for flavor of the food. So, that's why I'm adding that into it. But for you, if you want to stay away from butter, you don't need to add into it. And you can just add the olive oil, it's good. That's why I put the olive oil on the stock.